If you have spent any time at all in the pollinator and butterfly gardening world, you have heard the term host plant, usually in the context of you need them so caterpillars have food. But what exactly are host plants? And is there more to them than just food for caterpillars? I'm Anthony with Backyard Ecology, and today I'm gonna to delve deep into the world of host plants. The dictionary definition of a host plant is, a plant upon which an organism, such as an insect or mildew, lodges and subsist. For today's discussion, I will focus on insects since I seriously doubt anyone is wanting to enhance mildew in their garden. If you noticed, the definition of host plant does not mention caterpillars, it says insects. While most pollinator gardeners focus on caterpillar host plants, there are many species of beetles, true bugs, and sawflies that also utilize host plants. Many of these non-butterfly insect species have host plant needs that overlap with popular butterflies. Take milkweed for example, it is the host plant for several caterpillars, including those of the beloved monarch butterfly and the milkweed tussock moth. In addition, it is the host plant for the red milkweed beetles, which feed on milkweed both as larvae and as adults, as well as milkweed bugs whose nymphs feed on the sap of the milkweed. There are thousands of examples like this. As you can see, you can not only pick host plants for your garden to help butterfly and moth species, but also other insect species such as beetles. If you love learning about native plants, please pollinate that like button. When it comes to host plants, some insects are specialists and only feed on one group of plants. A group could be as small as a single species, a genus, or more diverse such as a plant family. I like to call these species the picky eaters. Around 90% of the insect species which feed on plants fall into this group. The remaining 10% of species are generalist, meaning they eat just about anything green. If you think about it, it's probably a good thing that only 10% of plant-eating insects fall into this category. The nice thing about the picky eaters is that a butterfly garden can be planted to attract specific species to lay their eggs. Love monarchs? Plant milkweed. Love spicebush swallowtail caterpillars? Plant a spicebush. There are some super cool species you can attract to your yard just by planting the correct host plants. If you would like to see videos specific to the host plants from butterfly and moth species, please comment below. I would like to mention that not all host plants necessarily have awesome flowers. In fact, some don't have showy flowers at all. There are several species of butterflies, moths, and skippers that use native grasses as host plants. Many host plants are not herbaceous, but are trees and shrubs. Please keep these things in mind when you're designing your pollinator or butterfly gardens, and remember to always thank native species. I'm going to link my favorite caterpillar host plant book in the description. It is not only a great reference for caterpillar host plants, but it is also handy for identifying all those cool caterpillars you find in your garden. Host plants are far more than just baby food for caterpillars. Several other insects also rely on specific plants to feed their young. And in many cases, even the adults are restricted to feeding on a limited group of plants. By understanding these relationships, you can take your butterfly garden to a whole new level. If you would like to learn about the host plant for a super cool and super cute caterpillar, check out this video on Spicebush and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.